The family of a former auto worker is devastated tonight. 62 year old Tony Johnson was found stabbed to death and it happened in a house that sits right across the street from where relatives live. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has been talking to Tony's family. She joins us live from Detroit's west side. And Kim, do police think this started out as a robbery? Uh, Dave and Glenda, police say it's really too early on in their investigation to determine what actually motivated, whether it was robbery or what. Now, for hours, though, police have been out here, and they're still out here focusing much of their attention on that broken front window. Hey, my father. He never crossed nobody. The family of 62-year-old Tony Johnson wondering who would kill him and why. They need to turn themselves in. He didn't go down, just go down. They got injured, too because my brother was an old man fighting for his life. And he fought for his life, but he was too old and he had injuries. Loved ones say for years, Tony worked for Ford, but now he was doing light construction and moved into this house on Ashton near Tyreman to help the owner fix it up. Some of Tony's relatives live right across the street and around 7.30 this morning, a family friend could see something was wrong. The front window was busted out and Tony wasn't coming to the door. He was later found dead from apparent stab wounds. I don't see what he did not to nobody. He was in the house minding his business. He don't mess with nobody too old. As police were investigating and processing evidence, Tony's family told us that the doors were locked so they believe it was someone Tony knew. Someone who couldn't find the key to get out and that may be how the window was broken. They said the window was broken from the inside because of the person who had to get out to get out. I'm just so mad because he was loved by everybody that came in contact yes. with him. He stayed on the grill. He played spades, dominoes. My uncle was good. He helped everybody that he, came, that he could, even when he ain't have it. He helped people all the time. They said it wasn't a break-in, so it was someone he knew, someone that he, that he called a friend. Now, the police also telling us that they are they are not sure how the window was broken. Anyone with any information on who killed Tony Johnson is urged to call Detroit police homicide investigators. Tony leaves behind a son and three daughters. Reporting live on Detroit's west side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back Sorry to for that family. Kimberly, thank you.